Hello, welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Bartholomew Regionaire Thomas Plato Bag of Chips Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes because it might be a tad boring which may in turn cause you to feel bored which may in turn stimulate that sense within you of tiredness which in turn may cause your eyelids to become heavier which in turn may cause your eyes to defocus somewhat which in turn may cause your eyelids to feel even heavier which in turn may cause the muscles in your body to relax one by one which in turn may cause your eyelids to really feel really relaxed which in turn may cause your forehead to feel smoother and more relaxed which in turn may cause the muscles around your eyes to feel more relaxed which in turn may cause your face to smooth and relax which in turn may cause your eyes to relax even more which in turn may cause your stomach to rumble as your 
internal organs calm down and relax. Which in turn may cause your eyelids to actually feel really light at the same time as feeling heavy but really light like a, a butterfly's wings. which in turn may cause your jaw to feel looser. You may even notice that you kind of move your jaw a little bit. I say I don't move it, not to a different part of the house, but just you don't have to physically grab your jaw and move it around. You can maybe open your mouth if it's comfortable to do so. And just notice the feeling of your jaw as it feels somewhat more relaxed. Which in turn causes you to focus on your mouth, your lips, your tongue, teeth, gums, just the whole area of your mouth generally without focusing on any specific part but just being aware Maybe you can hear the the rumblings of my stomach, which for some reason have only just started when I pressed the record button. I'm being heckled by my own tummy. which in turn lets you know that actually your whole body is continuing to relax. Because feeling relaxed and calm is something that you can enjoy experiencing. Naturally. In this moment, everything else just drifts away. As you just focus on my voice, focusing not just on my voice itself, but also the words that you hear me say. And when I mention a 
specific part of your body. Maybe you visualize in your mind that part of your body as well as actually physically experiencing that particular bodily sensation in this very moment. Because when your eyes are closed your senses become more tuned into how you feel and maybe tuned into the things that you can hear and because your focus is on my voice and the words that I am saying now that focus is somewhat maybe less than it was or more than it was depending on how you look at it because visually you've got your eyes closed so you're not seeing anything other than what's inside your imagination so you imagine the different parts of your body relaxing Maybe you imagine me sitting in my big black squeaky chair talking to you on this evening. It's early morning, it's Saturday in July 2019. Although you may be listening to this in 2036 on a Monday morning, but not yet. But maybe yet, depends, you know. But as I am speaking in this moment, it's July, it's Saturday. Because in 2036, I will hopefully be sitting in a, a different chair. Because the one I'm sitting in now is already falling apart. Plus I'll be... I don't know how old I'll be by then. I'll be older. be 60 something 65 so I'll be in my prime by then and you can feel in your prime at all times when you feel relaxed and calm when you give yourself permission to just let go to just enjoy the pleasure of being in the moment and allowing yourself to notice the pleasant feelings that you can physically experience within your body whether it's your feet Maybe just moving your toes. Something that I imagine most people just take for granted. It's just a thing you do. It's like blowing your nose. It's just something 
you move your toes, it's like no big deal. But actually you think about it, when you focus on it, providing there's no nothing wrong with your feet, no injuries or anything, you move your toes, it feels quite nice. You can feel, you just do it gently. Just do it softly. Small movements. As you focus on your feet and your toes, all those nerve endings in your feet that allow that pleasurable sensation that a lot of people can have when their feet are massaged. And even for people that have ticklish feet, you can still have a foot massage if it's at the right pressure. And it can be one of the most beautifully pleasurable experiences. Very, very, very relaxing and calming. It's if your feet just seem to close their eyes and drift off course the feet don't have eyes but if they did they wouldn't see much would they They'd be facing towards the ground most of the time but the feet can relax your feet can let go Just in the same way as all of your parts of your body can relax and all of the parts of your body can let go. It's as if all of the parts of your body have eyes that can just close. So that you can just focus on my voice. And you can focus on my words. Which can in turn relax all of those parts of your body even more. It's like it's a. There's a momentum, like a wave of relaxation spreading throughout your body. Filling your body up with a feeling. A feeling of safety. A feeling of appreciation for your ability to actually be kind to yourself, which in turn allows all the parts of your body. to feel sleepy because it's not just about your mind slowing down and slowing down even more and slowing down to the point of thoughts not even registering perhaps the way that they were before 
your body continues to relax which in turn signals your brain to send those chemicals into your muscles a chemical is that signal to relax completely to feel safe completely to let go completely which in turn can lead you to really get in touch with that sense of safety which we all have within us the ability to expand that inbuilt security and feeling of self protection which in turn may cause you to realize that it is safe for you to let go completely and it is safe for you to feel tired and sleepy which in turn can allow you to really experience something that you may not have experienced before or for some time to time to relax to enjoy knowing that you have the opportunity within your grasp to entertain the idea that you deserve to be happy and you were born with the ability to sleep deeply because you may realize that from now onwards you can enjoy being who you are more each day.
day and sleepier and sleepier when it's time to feel sleepy when it's time to go to sleep With that, trust in your own ability to tap into that natural stream of sleep. natural stream of sleep which in turn gives you a wonderful chance to actually enjoy how you physically feel now how physically relaxed you feel now How physically tired you feel now. You can just let go of everything. Because falling naturally into a deep healing sleep is something that you were born with that ability to just let go completely and drift away into that safe healing place that we call sleep which in turn gives you the additional opportunity to appreciate that feeling that you now experience inside your mind your calm relaxed mind feels so loose and so light And so safe. Because there is nothing to think about as you drift off into that deep healing sleep moving always moving forward always drifting away from any thoughts that may arise 
because they just drift past like clouds in the sky because they're of no consequence or interest to your sleepy relaxed and calm mind and body continues to feel even sleepier and even deeper into a sense of deep Drifting sleep moving and drifting further and deeper into that safe place. We feel safe to just put your trust in your ability to sleep deeply and easily in a way that feels so relaxing and feels 